Kayla invited me to one of, one of her many wedding productions when she was about four. She was dressed as Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz, complete with ruby, sli ruby slippers. She had a thing for The Wizard of Oz back then. She had chairs on two sides of the room. She made an altar in her living room, and she walked down the aisle with a basket and a stuffed total dog as her bouquet. You know, I couldn't remember who she married that day, and I was thinking it was Sam, our dog, maybe it was her brother Tommy, or even her maid of honor, Anna. But Amy reminded me this morning that it was Ken. It was Ken's second marriage, though, because he had to leave Barbie for G.I. Joe. <laughs> but don't worry, Anthony, all those marriages have been null and void. But Kayla and Anthony, I can't think of a better wedding than what you have planned and organized during this thing called the pandemic. As most of you know, I probably would not have been up here sharing with you if Anthony's father he would be regaling you with stories, real and imagined, <laughs> imagined, <laughs> sidekick, um, and would be beaming with pride about the life Anthony has made for himself and his pick in Kayla as a great life partner. Growing up with an older sister is like growing up with two moms. One who you are given, and one who you never signed up for. <laughs> I'm so happy and excited to see what the future has in store for Anthony and Kayla. I always believe in everything happens for a reason, and I truly believe that you guys were meant to meet each other and find her happily ever after. But now if I can fast forward a few years, um, Anthony and I had the pleasure of being roommates for about four of those. And uh, two in St. Cloud and then two in St. Louis Park where we met this beautiful woman. <laughs> Sorry, when those ladies moved in next door, we were all pretty excited. <laughs> but, but long story short, he ended, up telling me he, was, uh, he ended up telling me that he was going to be asking her out. And I could tell by his confidence that this was something different. Kayla, I could tell right away that, that you are one of the most kind and selfless people in this world. And the more I get to know you, the better you get. There's not a doubt in my mind that you'll take really good care of me. I could not be more happy for you guys. Anthony, I'm proud to call you one of my best friends. And I know we're not actually brothers, but I'd like to take the honors of welcoming Kayla to the family. Um, there are not enough words to describe the sense of peace that a mother has in her heart when she knows that her child is taken care of. Even before the engagement, you could easily tell that these two beautiful people were meant to be husband and wife. You and Kayla have a bright future together. Little advice coming from my dad. 
he is smiling down at the two of you right now. But his advice was, as you travel on this journey called life, and he did say this to me, you only worry about the things that are irreversible and let everything else go because it doesn't matter. Don't forget that. Kayla, I'm so happy this day has finally come. I love you and I cannot wait for the rest of our lives together. When we started this journey of planning, who would have guessed it would turn out like this? <laughs> but even through all that, seeing how you handled it made me just love you more. You are a million dreams and a million prayers of a little girl finally coming true. From the start of our relationship, you have always been my biggest supporter, confidant, and best friend. You teach me to be patient, even though I'm definitely not, and to trust in the curveballs that life sends our way. You are a calming presence while the world feels as though it's spinning under my feet. You remind me that we have to live in the present while continuing to dream big for the future. I love you with all my heart. I love how kind, caring, fun, and beautiful you are. You're my best friend, and every day my love for you grows. I vow to dream those big dreams with you. I vow to love you unconditionally and to encourage and support you in wherever life may take us. I vow to always be loyal, work to build our relationship, and maybe even laugh at your terrible dad jokes once in a while. I vow to always be your best friend for now and all the years to come. I vow to stick with you for any challenges life might bring. I, I vow to be the builder of all your Pinterest projects. <laughs> <laughs> I vow to love you unconditionally today and every day. I vow to remember that while neither one of us are perfect, we, vow we are perfect for each other, and I vow to love you through the good times and the bad. I take you as my wife. I take you as my husband. For better or for worse. In sickness and in health. For richer or for poor. To have and to cherish as long as we both shall live. <laughs> I love you, Kayla Schultz. You are the light of my life and my forever person. I love you more. Well, Anthony and Kayla, we've witnessed you making of vows. We watched you tying of the, of the unity knot and exchanging of the rings. And so it's with that that I have the privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. And so, Anthony, you may now kiss the bride. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Anthony and Kayla Schultz.